like that. Here's a better example. All of that. So, it's real simple. All you have to do is um, paint your base coat, which is this yellow that we have here. And then, I mix up some, some basically just regular acrylic paints. Okay, you can kind of see right here where I'm painting. I'm just kind of doing what it's called stippling, where you just take a brush and you load it with paint and you just dab it. And I basically kind of make areas that are like kind of wider where a lot more damage has happened and then I have tapered off areas like this rust is kind of working its way down and eventually these little smaller parts will eventually look like this. So you first do this and I'm just kind of using different colors. So here's a lighter brown that I've got. And I'm just trying to do decent coverage over the yellow part where you don't really see the yellow part showing through. The brown, the dark brown paint really helps. So I just keep layering it. Sorry, I was paying attention to my paint and not the camera. Um, so basically you just keep dabbing it on the different colors, layering it, layering it until you're happy. And then the next step is you just let it dry. Get some salt, just regular table salt, and a paintbrush, and a little cup for your salt, and then wet the salt to where it's kind of almost a 50-50 mixture, 50% wet. It's got to be wet enough to stick onto the place where you're going to be sticking it. And basically what the salt does is it acts as a mask. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So basically wherever I put the salt, just kind of dab it on. Okay, so you can see how I kept it in the center of the paint job and then these areas will be sprayed over with spray paint. And then once the spray paint dries, you can wipe the salt away and it will reveal, reveal all of this right here. Um, so you can see how like the outside edges go pretty well beyond where I've salted it. And as you kind of taper down, basically you're just wanting to envision that you want to save the paint underneath where you're painting the, uh, I guess painting, but where you're putting the salt mixture. And where there's thinner areas, you're gonna have paint kind of invade that area, which is okay. So sometimes uh, airing on the side of being thin is better than being too thick. Okay, so that's what it looks like after I've sprayed it with spray paint. And just do short controlled bursts with the spray can. So don't just continually push and just keep doing this and kind of be at about a six inch dip distance or more. If you can get back 10 to 12 is even better. Um, and just kind of short bursts down the area and you can see now that the areas that I painted outside this um, with the, the rust color are pretty well covered up. And what we did, you want to also watch for drips. If you don't want drips, then just kind of stay on top of that because there's a lot of moisture in the salt. And when the salt drips run down, they could leave a streak. Um, but I'll show you how to cover those up here in a minute. One other thought to kind of uh, think about is that we bought a can of paint, just regular paint. And then, but we matched it to the color of the spray paint because I knew I was going to be doing this process and I didn't want the colors to be different. They match perfectly, but there's a slight sheen. If I back out, you can see that it definitely is out of place. But what we'll do is we will, um, I'll go ahead and once we wipe this part off, I'll show you uh, how to kind of make that blend. So let's go ahead and wipe it and see. I think it's ready. Oh, yeah. Now, can you see that? The power of this technique is pretty significant. We're gonna go over our design a bit. Do like this. Basically, what it is is it's a um, it's a glaze that you put on to antique furniture, and you can use it to just make it look make things look dirty. It's really dark when you brush it on. And kind of blend it in go straight up and down otherwise the pattern will look kind of funky okay as you can see this is actually taking longer than I thought I'm gonna have to let this dry because every time I barely even wiped it it would wipe it all the way off so I'll let this dry and then I'll wipe over again if you want to see what the finish will look like it's right here it was the same thing where you could see like kind of a yellow outline where the spray paint happened but I did this multiple times made it nice and grungy and now it blends in perfectly with the rest. 